Great cinematic. More fighting games should have the, the built-in cinematics. Like, oh, yeah, It yeah. started with, I think, <laughs> Street Fighter 3 Turbo. Don't don't ask me. Okay, it's, <laughs> it started with... Uh, it starts with one of the Street Fighters where mm -hmm. Ken and Ryu, if you play Ken and Ryu, they would do a little fist bump before the match. And Yeah, I don't know where what game it started with, but I do love that they are incorporating it in a lot of games. Yes, big fan. Because this, this is a sick cutscene. Mm -hmm. Respect. <laughs> Getting right into it. On the new stage, the beach stays as well. A bit of a larger stage, but still. Uh, oh, nice call out there by Night Purifier going into heat. Oh, my goodness. We are swinging. That's a hell of a thing to represent from, <laughs> like, 50, like 10 seconds into the set. It's like, all right, I'm going to Blackwing Rondo. What are you going to do about it? Oh, we're, he is we're spinning. dancing on him. We're <laughs> dancing on him, baby. Large oh, my God. Well, you know when you see a large, you're going to get a little bit of party on the side. You're going to get a lot of chaos, a lot of let me just roll here. Let me just dash here. Let me just sweep your feet here, you know? Yeah, when you're transitioning between three different stances, it's a hard character to track. Huge block on the low. Didn't get punished. So instead, the orbital comes down for Night Purifier and the dynamic entry three, yeah. or the, uh, the silent entry two, rather, mm -hmm. getting blown up. A lot of his stances are just... Him spinning, so sometimes yeah. it's hard to tell. He's just spinning to win. Yeah. He's moving. He's out yeah. here. Oh, my God. Bars is the inventor of groovement because he's dancing. Yeah, he definitely is. Oh, Ooh. my. Bro. He Yo. just walk, He just has to watch him go crazy there because it's like, what are you going to do? It's such a scary thing to watch Lars just do his thing because it's like, bro, if I press here, I die. If I don't press here, I die. It's why you see Samba Master <laughs> really betting it, uh, betting the farm and more with that launch punishable launcher. Like the Blackwing Rondo, they tracked Ooh, on the orbital. Oh my God. You're, there is no I did farm. not know his orbital could track like that. Like, yeah. excuse me? That's crazy. Oh, yeah. dropping a combo though, but Night Purifier here at the wall. So Samba is in favor here, but we are getting the sidewall bit. The Night Purifier fighting back out with this heat activation. Oh, go for a silent entry, pivot into no stance in order to get the heat smash off. Jab one, two. Looking to, this is better case scenario here yep. for Sambo Master. Has, both heat is burned. Jin typically a Ooh. more well-rounded, definitely a more well-rounded character than Night uh, Purifier's Lars. So playing some Tech, you know, like Tekken 7.5 typically will favor the Mishima. Oh my God, nice duck for the call up to launch and end that round by Simbo. Good patience. Very you know, simple. just let. Who won the match for? Night Purifier, run him up. Oh, and the counter hit 1-1-1. Nice recognition there from Night Purifier to get the Heat Engager. And we are blowing through that Heat in order to get these plus frames. A nice down two. Electra comes in. Counter hit. Chooses to go for the down forward 1-4 combo instead of the guaranteed Heat Engager with the, with the 1 plus 2. Oh, my God. Night Purifier here. Oh! oh. Big damage. We're stunting. And We're flexing. Yeah, going to close it out with the mid, calling out Sambo for pressing a button there. I feel like a lot of players... When they pick up Jin, they mm -hmm. see the the big hitboxes, the decent move, the solid movement, not even decent, the extreme flexibility, the pretty good small Tekken game. Like Jin has so many tools, but it's really hard to play reactionary as Tekken when you're just starting to play him. And it seems like Sambo Master is really falling into victim of like, oh man. I want my opponent to respect me, but I don't know how to get him to respect me when he's playing this aggressive. Mm -hmm. And if you're Night Purifier, keep the, up the gas. Yep. Like, like okay, after down all. two. Oh, my God. That was so chaotic. Like, Oh, but not for these grabs. Sambo really getting caught up with grabs a lot this, during this top 24. Orbital from that distance. Ooh. And, like, Consider the consider the risk reward a little bit as we see this uh, combo from Night Purifier finishing off the one plus two, then ending off the round. Night, a lot of the punishes from Samba Master has been like one two or yeah. down forward one four. It's been like two hit, nothing too crazy, and definitely no launch. Yeah. So if yeah. you're Night Purifier, well, hey, let me keep going for some of these crazy launchers and these orbitals because the combo game and the, the punish game and the punish recognition from Samba Master has not been there. So I feel fully in range to let loose.
And the issue here, too, is that Lars just is a character that often plays really fast. And if you're not used to this matchup or you're not used to, like, what's what to look out for that's, like, negative or, you know, what you can call out, you are going to drown in this matchup as we are seeing Sambo trying to find these openings, finding something, needing to block in and guarantee all of this damage because that purifier just is unstoppable. The Cracking up at the crowd, I saw one demon paw and someone by himself scream, Thank you! <laughs> so, crowd is electric right now. Both of these players going to another round. Sambo Master far from out of it. Really playing close to the chest, trying to keep as much space as possible. We are three or four character lengths away, but it's so easy for Lars to get right back in your face with how quickly he can move. Oh, nice put patience here. Okay, down two. Okay, Sampo switching it up and being more patient and reactive. Nice heat. Going into heat. I'm oh, gonna use it. Try to get these clutch rays. Nice. First health sweep of the set here. Didn't really have the opportunity to tracking oh, oh, with oh. that heat engager. Takes away all of the progress that Zombo Master had made on this comeback. Instead, he's got to reestablish, re control himself and his position, going for the 2 1 4. But Night Purifier back oh, off just that again. little bit. The orbital connects and it should end the round. The 1 plus 2 finishing off the set. Zombo Master taking a deep breath, but Night Purifier raised the, uh, raised the tempo as the stakes raised up for a top 8 qualifier, and he did not blink flying through Sambo Master to get himself into top eight. Right. All right. Is that, was that the end or do we have? That's any? it. That's it. Okay. So thank you everybody for joining us for this top 16 is some really intense matches. I want, I want to see how far <laughs> did this orbital connect? 214. Like we are so far. He went for the grab. Yep. Oh yeah. And that, that set him up to that. like kind of scramble there, unfortunately. That step forward grab, and then you are gone, sir. Mm -hmm. And then the combo after. Yeah, nice recognition on the side. Honestly, I'm not even sure if it was like, you can't react to a whiff grab like that. So that is just purely the flow state that Night Purifier was in, just purely in the mind of, I am going to represent offense until Sambo Master tells me that I can't. And you know what? Being stubborn, in Tekken 8, in a first to two, in a high octane game where the damage output for every character is so good, being stubborn pays off. Yeah. Uh, represent your offense. Attack first. Make sure your opponent is scared of you and everything that you are going to do, unless that they have proven that they can punish you hard for it. Then you can start changing up. Then you can start adapting to how they play defense or if they're playing more like an, av an active defense. But the first things that you should always have on your mind is how am I going to get my way in this game? And that is exactly what Night Purifier brought. He was playing his way at his tempo and making Sa uh, Sambo Master deal with it. Yeah, that, and it's just also really important to know when to speed up, when to slow down, and For just sure. taking a moment and, you know, being like, okay, I need to calm down, I need to slow down my gameplay. As we saw, Night Purifier did get patient there and just look for the moments that he could get some damage in, some big damage in, and guaranteeing all that damage. And those orbitals, very so perfectly good. placed. So good. Everyone placed very well. I don't think you, I don't think you whiffed an orbital. No, I, I think we're 100% orbital getting, able to get into the combos If there. you have 100% hit rate, <laughs> yeah. good job, man. Like, you got it. But that is going to do it for us here at the Tekken 8 Top 16. And DTN for the evening, going to be the end, the last block of the stream here tonight. Yep. Be sure to tune in tomorrow at Twitch. Tomorrow TV's for Top 8. At Top 8 of I a bevy of different games. I'm pretty sure it starts at, I want to say 2 or 4, but I don't don't quote yeah, me right you, now. You can check the start yeah, you guys check. DTN X. Mm -hmm. There it is. Or defendantorf.org or .com. One of those. Either way. But yeah. Do we want to run some ads first? All right, so we're going to hit you with the ads first and foremost being...